Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly generate color variations in Figma by using the HSL mode of the color picker. Let's go. So I have this uh, badge here in my header, and currently this text is just pure black. And I wanna give it a color that's similar to the background, but darker, right? So what I would usually do is select the background color, which is this, and then generate a bunch of shades from that color, which means mixing that color with black on various degrees until I get to what I want. But there's actually a faster way to do that in Figma, and I use this all the time. So what you do, you select the text color, and you sample the background color. So currently the text has the same color as the background, you cannot see it, but let's make it darker. And the way to do that is by going to, let me actually zoom in here so you can see this, uh, by going to the color picker and instead of hex, you can choose HSL. HSL stands for hue, saturation and lightness. Uh, you can also choose HSB, that's hue, saturation, brightness. It does similar things, but I always prefer working with HSL. So to get a darker version of the color that's currently being selected, you would just select the lightness uh, field and you can enter a new value manually or you can use the up and down arrow keys to just select a darker version or a lighter version of that color uh, depending on your use case. So in my case, I'll go with maybe like uh, 24 and or maybe even 20. I think that gives me a good enough contrast uh, with the background and it still looks really, really good. Super, super easy, right? What about the uh, text and the icon color inside this button? Again, I would like uh, these to be darker versions of this color background. So I can select both of these. I can go to selection colors and I can sample the background color. And then because I have the HSL uh, mode selected, yeah, I can work on increasing the lightness to maybe about this much. And if I want, I can also uh, tamper with the second field, which stands for saturation. So at 100, that color is like fully saturated. It's like the purest version. But once we start uh, lowering that saturation, it goes to the left side towards the gray. So you won't have as much color in it. When you get to zero, it's like no color in it whatsoever. So you know, just uh, work with these fields. You can also hold down shift while pressing up and down arrows uh, to uh, just find the color that you want a little bit faster. So that's a, a very quick Figma tip for you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'm Adi. I'll see you next time. Take care.